guys, my name is Rebecca, aka VM Bodega Cat, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna go film an Is It Hype at Fat Choi. Fat Choi is like very new. It opened like maybe last week or something. By the time this goes up, maybe it's been like two weeks or something. Um, but their Instagram says that they're kind of Chinese and also vegan. I do believe it's vegan Chinese food, um, but very interestingly done. I mean, not like a Luann's Wild Ginger, more of like a, a hip, a hip little spot. Anyway, it's intrigued me. My friend Amanda messaged me about it and she lives all the way in California, so I don't even know how she found out about it before me. But because of her, we're doing this video, so everyone say thank you, Amanda. Thank you very much. Let's let's head straight into the city. It's on Broom Street. It's not too far from Williamsburg. Sorry about the banging noise. I don't know what they're building on a Sunday morning, but um, let's head straight over. By the way, it opens at noon, Sunday through, no, wait, what? Tuesday through Sunday, so they're closed Mondays, just so you know. All right, we are out of the subway. We are like half a block away from the place, just have to round the corner. Um, there's like a random chair in the street. I low-key want to like steal it. I don't know why, it's just, uh, there it is, it's right there in the street. Wow. Okay, I'm on the corner of Ludlow and Broom. All right, here it is. Fat Choi, they do have an outside dining area too, and a plethora of puppies, apparently. <laughs> so they have a pretty minimal menu, which I low-key really love. There are two chef's specials right there, and a little bit of a list of sides. I got five items in total. They also have wine, which I did not get because it is only noon. Um, and I have some self-control, so we'll see how it looks like when they come out. Okay, so here's the food. Over here we have some rice rolls. This is only the second time I've ever had rice rolls, so I'm very excited. We have a cucumber salad right here. This is a, I forgot the name right now, but it's like a mushroom bao type thing. It's like called the meshy mushroom or the sloppy mushroom or something. Uh, we have some fried cauliflower over here. And here are the dumplings, and I totally spilt the sauce. My bad. They did provide me with chopsticks, so I will be using them. And I totally just pulled them out from the wrong side. And I'm gonna start with the fried thing, because I don't want it to get soggy, which it's not yet. Cauliflower, no sauce. Hey! Who's Larry? That's Larry, right there. Oh! <laughs> this, is this is so freaking good. Yeah, the cauliflower so itself is delicious. How long have you been open? And the sauce is like smoky. I expected it to be like mayonnaise-y, but it's not. This is the best fried cauliflower I've had like in a very long time. Listen to the crunch. And I really like how they're presenting it as it is. Like they're not like presenting it as like wings or something. It's like nah, this is deep fried cauliflower. 9 out of 10, delicious. Now the rice rolls is what I was most excited about. Because the only other time I've had rice rolls, I've loved them so much. So I just have high hopes, you know? Very scalliony and springy. Even the greens taste good. Rice, rice rolls are almost like rice noodles, but they're in like a giant sheet and they're rolled up. See how it's rolled up? And then it's covered in like sauces and veggies, and in this case, some like crispy onions. It's very savory and garlicky. And oniony, super yum. Eight and a half out of 10. Mm. Now onto the next thing I was most excited for. And that's these dumplings, they're flat. I've never had a flat dumpling, and I, I don't know what's inside. It just says chili crisp and red vinegar, and it's grandson style. Mmm, spicy. Looks like rice and mushroom inside. Spicy. That's some spicy moon level spice. It definitely needs the sauce because it's not as flavorful as some of the other things that I've tried so far, but it is good. 7.5 out of 10. So for some reason, the cauliflower stuff is my favorite. I keep eating it. There will be no leftovers for Roberto when it comes to cauliflower. 
Next up, we have the biggest mess factor. It looks like mushrooms and a Chinese slaw. You know, like it's not really a bao bun. It's like a. It's almost as if a bao bun meets an arepa. I don't know what this is called, but. Mm, it smells very fresh, and I'm really scared. <laughs> Make room for the spillage. Uh oh. Mmm. It didn't taste how I thought it would. If there was like a Chinese arepa, this is it. It's like meaty and smoky, and then the salad kind of balances out with fresh. And the bread is like, I don't know, it's like crispy on the outside, and it's like bread on the inside. I don't know. Look. Very interesting. I've never had anything like this. I'd give that an 8 out of 10. <laughs> Goes back to cauliflower. How do they make it that good? I don't understand. Last but not least, we have a refreshing cucumber salad. Don't ask me what they have on it. I actually don't know. Very refreshing. Slightly spicy and creamy. 8 out of 10. I would like 12 orders of the cauliflower, please. This is the last big bite. I think my favorite, if I were to come back, and by the, by the way, like when I like a place and I say if I were to come back, the only reason it's not when I were to come back is that I'm always trying new places, so I always have trouble going back, even to places I love so much. Mosquito, go away. If I were to come back, I see you. Wait for me. Ah. Oh. Okay, it's across the street. Anyway, if I were to come back, I would get these rice rolls because the garlicky, oniony flavor is like amazing, and I'd get the cauliflower. And I think I'd be full off of those two. Ah, oh, I'm so full. I didn't. You know, rice rolls do that. You like eat them, and then you're just like, Hoo! they just like expand in your stomach or something. Anyway, so what I what I wanted to say. Final thoughts. It's a good spot. It's a decent spot. Call, again, I can't talk about this fried cauliflower enough. It is so good. Fried cauliflower is good. Rice rolls are good. Everything else is, is good, but like those two things, I was like, wow, so yummy. So like definitely worth checking out. I really like the small to-go container sort of situation. I think Spicy Moon tried to do something like that when they first opened and then they received some backlash about it because of like, you know, reu like reusable, what's the right word? Disposable stuff, people were against the disposable stuff, but now with coronavirus, people are a lot more open to disposable stuff and it's great for like to-going, you know, it's like a little, little hand plate for you to hold your food in. Um, and then with the chopsticks, everything's like, you know, biodegradable and stuff, which is cool. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. It is hype, worth checking out, cute little spot, small menu, I enjoy that. That is all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. Also, I'm trying to get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So, if you usually watch my videos and you're not yet subscribed, then please do. It means a lot to me. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! One last thing. I managed to eat the entire meal without spilling on myself and then as I was trying to transfer the food into a to-go container for my boyfriend, you know, being a nice person... Can you see? I don't know. I just spilled oil on my pants. Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Curates, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex of Planet Earth, Nicole, Jenny, Marcia, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Danny, Vanessa, Nakia, and Angie. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.